it's rude reusers of unloved discarded excess and it's rude girl here today this couch two seater is approximately 20 years old it's been okay it's a bit 80s style it had one problem up until just recently after 20 years I have become so sick and tired of the cushions shifting on the seat they come out and you don't get the back support then and you feel like you're just getting lost in the back of the sofa as the cushions move out here I've taken a cushion out and as you will see it's this tiny piece of velcro which was never going to be enough to keep a cushion on the couch and as you can see it's picked up this stuff from the bottom of the couch and I'm going to have to take this off so anyway we just lift that up and that's what has happened all this has come away here due to the velcro it's all just ripped I had to think what I was going to do after 20 years I must have a lot of patience because for 20 years I didn't like it but I put up with it and then all of a sudden the other day I thought oh no more this is driving me nuts fancy that I thought what am I going to do I went on to YouTube and I saw that they're using several methods but I still didn't like the methods they were using. One of the methods suggested was to use this non-slip matting and I had already tried that and what happens is exactly as you see here the matting rolls up like that under the cushion so that wasn't going to work they did suggest a heavier duty floor rug rubber matting but I'd have to go out and buy that this no good out it went and I thought no that's no good and I don't want to go and buy anything so the next best thing was to think how I was going to do it I went out into rude boys shed and I had a look around thinking something I need something that doesn't slip like some foam rubber but there was no foam rubber and then I spotted this it's like a carpet underlay and this seems to have done the trick and I'm really surprised but I thought it would it's not like a normal carpet underlay that I've seen which is usually smooth now this is smooth here on this side but on this side it's rough really rough and a bit sort of feels a bit sticky and this has solved my problem and all I've done is I just placed the piece that I have here and I place the cushions on top of this and they're staying in place so I don't know where you get this from maybe a carpet rug wholesaler and just remember to get it where you it feels really rough and a bit tacky and it should do the trick well I've removed most of the fluff and lint from the heavy duty velcro I could keep going but I'm not going to I don't see any point but it's been reduced here there we go there it is so that's all uh, gone and that should even stick better so all in all for uh, well over 20 years old it's done a really good job it's just those cushions moving it wasn't really a great design but anyway pop that back in there and as you can see I'm pulling at the cushion pull 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 before they just used to slip out but now they're not and I'm giving it a bit of a tug there yay after 20 years 
no slip cushions there you go all for next to nothing just had to think had to slow down and I guess after 20 years it just had to get to that stage where I had had enough and the two lounge chairs to match the two-seater sofa or couch have also had the same material placed under the cushions and as you can see I'm pulling but I can't if I button up I can't do it so they're in there that's great